Sacramento police are looking for a second person they believe is connected to the shooting death of a Sacramento football quarterback. One teenager is already behind bars in the case, and now they're asking for the community's help to identify another person. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live outside Sacramento Charter High School where a growing memorial remains. Marissa. Yeah, Tony, questions four months after 17 year old Jalen Bedchart was shot and killed. But here at his second home on the football field, the Sacramento Charter School football team is starting the season without one of its star players. The memorial for Jalen Betshark, number 12, still standing strong on the fence along Sacramento Charter School, right in front of the football field, his second home. Notes and photos with friends left here to keep this star quarterback's memory alive. It's a place where people can go and, and honor him. His aunt Mimi Hawking says his parents haven't fully digested the reality. Their boy with this bright smile is gone. They've been very impacted by this, and I it just, I don't know how they're ever going to recover. In October, police found Jalen in his car unresponsive with a gunshot wound after crashing into a pole near Granite Regional Park. He was pronounced dead at the scene. One week later, police arrest a 17 year old teenager in connection with his death. Now, detectives say they're looking for another person. They released these photos of the second suspect driving a 2012 Dodge Avenger. The motive of this shooting still under investigation. You're never going to have an answer to that, right? You're never going to be able to answer that question. It's just a very tragic event. Jalen's family believes the shooting was random. They say they're leaving the fight for answers in the hands of law enforcement, now just hoping to keep Jalen's legacy alive. He definitely is a name that Sacramento is proud of and will always be proud of. Just remember, JJ, be kind and, and just, you know, remember him as he was in life. Jalen would have graduated at the end of this school year. Now, the teenager who was arrested in connection to his death is now awaiting trial. Police at last check are protecting that teenager's identity because of his age. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot JJ would have done with his life. Marissa, thank you.